welcome back to another video so in this vlog I actually was being a proper vlogger and talking to the camera so I just thought I would quickly pop in say hey Trav's there hiding Trav's there hiding I'm not editing this out <laughs> I'm keeping this in until you say hi. hi. There we go. Okay, so um, yeah, enjoy the video. The first part we went to a place where my old pa was born, which was really cool. And then the rest of the day you can actually watch this time. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and enjoy. So we're on a um, car ferry thing, but we're literally just going to there. It's so close. Oh, it's bumpy. <laughs> we made it. Look at this little windmill. That's so cool. All right, so this island that we're on, oh, it smells so good. This, it always smells so floral here. Um, but it's called Kah Island, um, K-A-A-G. And we're coming here for lunch. Yeah, there's this huge factory here and then this really nice boat over there. But this place is massive. I've no idea where we're going though. I didn't realize they're actually building a boat in here. That's so cool. Wow. It's yum. There's watermelon with it, which is different. But yeah, we're at this place having lunch. What is this place? What is this place called? <laughs> the restaurant. Oh, oh, the head compass. Ah, cool. Ah. Guys, look how cool this place is. We just came inside and it's so, so cool. Oh, no, you can't see. Wait, there we go. Oh, you can't really see because of the light, but it's really cool in here. Well, at least it's different. Alright guys, so we're back from lunch now. It was so good, um, but we're just packing up because we're changing houses now. So I thought I would show you the room that I've been staying in. My camera battery is flashing, so I'll try to show you real quick. But pretty much, you walk in, I've got the fan going because I just can't deal with this 30 degree heat. <clears throat> Alright, take two, my battery literally just died. <laughs> um, so this is the room. I don't know what I said before, so this basically this is on the third story. So it is a very, very hot, but it is a really, really cute room, and that bed is so, so comfortable. I've got my stuff here, um, and I had to bring an adapter, because obviously, different plug thingy majiggities. But yeah, so this is the room that I've been staying in, and then check out the stairs. If you guys are from Europe, I don't know, you're probably used to them, but oh, you, you can never tell on camera, but they're so steep, and so like, narrow, and then the ones on the floor below, they're um, wooden and they're exactly the same so yeah normally during the day these are shut but I thought I'd open them just so I could actually show you um, the room so one last look around the room and yeah so we're on to our second house I figured I may as well show you the rest <laughs> so this is the second level there's this bedroom here and then there's a bedroom here and then another room here and then those are the stairs that go up and then these are the ones that go down and then hopefully there's no one in here cool and then there's the bathroom so at the bottom of these stairs you've got the entrance with a toilet we've got the lounge which is beautifully decorated a dining area and then there is the kitchen and then I will take you outside. Okay, so this is the outside area and then the garden. And the garden is so, so nice. I love these little flowers down here. This is like my spot of shade where I always come to hide. <laughs> and then um, a fruit. I don't know what fruit that is. But roses and stuff. And then looking back at the house. So that room up there is the one that I've been staying in. Oh, I almost forgot. And this is the the front of the house which is also really nice and this is my mum's Tonta Gobi who has let us stay here so thank you so much I appreciate it and we'll see you soon tonight tonight oh tonight you're coming tonight, tonight. cool and oh nice yeah I was just showing your okay. garden and stuff 
It's very, very nice. Right, I better go. All right, so we're at the next house now, and there's now music, and the neighbors have a pool, and they're playing in it, and it sounds so nice. 29 under here. I think it's even hotter than that, like further out as well. Okay, so my mum literally just went out, and a bird flew into the house. I don't know where it's gone. Maybe it's got out. Where did it go? Maybe it flew out over me, but literally a bird just like flew in and was flying all around in here. I hope it's gone outside. I don't know. But of course I just ran for my camera and now I can't even show you it. Damn, it must have got outside. Guys, I found the bird. It's in the kitchen. <gasps> How do I get this thing out? Oh no. I thought it was an ornament. Okay guys, I'm gonna have to put the camera down and see if I can get the birdie out. The bird won't listen to me. Apparently it doesn't speak English. Oh shoot, where did it go? It was literally just there. Oh, there it is. I don't want to annoy it, but it's... Come on, birdie. Oh, it's trying to get out this window. I wonder if I can open it. I think it's all locked. Birdie. Okay, it's now up there. Oh no, where did it go? This bird is going so fast. I'm trying to get it to go that way. Okay. Right. It's on the right side of the room now. I don't know if you guys can see it, but we need to get it over there. Oh, I feel like if I go near it, it's just going to go back to the kitchen. Oh, I don't know the window. <gasps> guys, it worked. I'm pretty sure it just went outside. <gasps> Yay! Oh, I'm so happy. But right before it went out, it hit the window. I feel so bad. But better it hit the window <laughs> and be outside than it still be inside. Well, that was exciting. 